Hi friends, this is HL7StarterKit.com. I wanted to shoot this quick video, hopefully quick, because um, someone had asked me today how to get query parameters um, in a channel that's listening, um, in particular in an HTTP listener. So I wanted to uh, show how I did this so I could document it and maybe it'll help someone else. So I have an HTTP sender and I have a HTTP listener. So if we look at my sender, my source, actually a source of generator, it doesn't matter because what really matters here is my destination, which is a, it's an HTTP sender, not NS. So you can see down here it's set to HTTP sending. And on the bottom, I have, in the query parameter section, I have two parameters. I set one up as message ID, set one up with the name of payload. And here, I just dragged and dropped my variables. So for instance, let's say I want to put the count in here. I want to double click in there first, take count, drag and drop. And that's how that works. And that's what I did with message ID and encoded data. You can see message ID is up here. And yep, and encoded data. I just, I don't know what, if that's the, over here, but anyway, I just copied it from here. So I want my message ID and my encoded data to go over to my HTTP sender, which is that second channel I set up as an as a listening on port 99. And you're probably wondering, so where, actually you don't even have to wonder. Um, I don't need my transformers, but yeah, this works. <laughs> um, you could also put in, see I have two variables here. You can also drag and drop these variables. I actually thought I was using the variables. I'm not, I'm just putting them straight in here. You can drag and drop the, the, the variables and in this you can see that my variables were set up in here. And I did the same thing. But I guess I don't need that with this scenario, but you could do that too. Okay, all I did was drag and drop from here, copy this here. So let's, let's go ahead and deploy that and let's take a look at the listener. So if you notice, I was sending over to a local host 99, and that was easy to set up. All I had to do was do an HTTP listener here, set a port. So if I had set this to 100, I could just have to go into my other channel here and put 100 right here, right? But it isn't, it's 99. I'm sending to 99, and I click test connection because it's already deployed. See, that's successful because this is already, lis this is already listening. So quickly in my set, in my listener, all I did was set up an HTTP listener on port 99, and that's it. I did nothing else in here. Uh, this was set by default to go out the channel writer. All I did was here was set local port to listen to the other channel. Let's deploy that. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is highlight the sender, and I'm going to send data in. Right now, everything in the sender is set to raw. So that means I can just send any value in here. If it was this, this um, data type on the other channel is set to HL7, of course, you just paste your, H, your HL7 in here. Right now, it doesn't matter what I type in here because it's set to raw. Um, I click process message. I'm going to go inside my sender. Take a look. Yep, there's my message. Uh, I'm going to go to sent because this is my sender. I want to see what it sent. It's sent over to HTTP local 99. Awesome. It's been sent, set up as a post, and here it is. You can see my parameters, which were well, the query parameters, are message ID, which is uh, 8, and my payload, which is a simple empty <laughs> HL7. So I sent this over to the HTTP listener. And let's go see what it looks like in there. I want to click, oh, oh, there it is. I click raw and there's my bare bones HL7. I'm going to click on my destination, go to my mappings, and under parameters, you can see the query parameters being sent from the from the sender. So awesome. There's my payload variable, and there's my message ID variable. Very cool. And that's how you can identify them. Um, Take another quick look here. I forgot to show you something. I think I did. 
Yeah, I did tell my listener channel. Here's where the magic happens. In the listener channel, under source, hit transformer. This is where my listener is actually um, retrieving the query parameter. So here I can go ahead and now I can do whatever I need to do. Right now I just sent it over to a, a log statement, but you know, here you start the process. Process. Do what you need to do. Pretty cool. Just wanted to show you how that worked. Um, let's go look for those messages. There it is. There's my payload and there's my ID. And that is how you retrieve query parameters in a channel that's listening um, by this, this statement right here. Right here. I use payload and message ID because that's what my, I, my um, variables were over here. All right? Message ID and payload. That's it. Okay. I hope this was helpful. Um, I was a little crazy there for a second. Um, it's the end of the day on a Friday, so forgive me. But hopefully that works. And um, uh, Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye.